I am the co-founder of TEDx Gateway Arch and you are joining me with Arch Fair. Today I am here with Tara Galina. She is the co-owner of Visia Restaurant. She owns this restaurant with her husband, Michael. Michael Galina is the chef and Tara, as I've been saying, you do everything else, right? <laughs> exactly. So tell me about this wonderful, I mean, you're in this beautiful location. You're in the Cortex District. CIC's right over there. I can see it. Was it purposeful that you chose this place for your restaurant? Absolutely. I, it was a lot of kind of interesting discovery when Michael and I moved back to St. Louis after being in New York for several years. And we wanted to find kind of that perfect home for Visia which you know we didn't really know what it was going to be at the time we just knew we wanted to do something special here um, so coming to Cortex seeing all of the kind of thought and attention that had been paid to advancing entrepreneurship people who have outside the box ideas people who are kind of pushing the envelope um, very much sort of resonated with who we are and what right. we wanted to do and you and you really are you are pushing the envelope as you said I mean you you went out you spent a year talking to different farmers around the area so you could get all of your food locally sourced. Um, we're very committed and passionate about working with local product, not just for the sake of doing it, but because we really believe that you know restaurants who do that have an opportunity to really make a positive impact on the community that surrounds them and supporting those farmers. So we just kind of got out there and we're like, hi, we are opening a restaurant. We really want to buy your product. You know, What do you have and will you sell to us? And it's harder than you think it is. Um, I can you imagine. Know, and you do have to really earn the trust of these farmers that you are going to be a repeat customer. You're not, they're not going to grow you a whole field of cabbage and then when it comes time to harvest you're nowhere to be found so you really have to make a lot of personal commitments with the exception of citrus fr fruit and some you know stock ingredients um, really all of our product from both meat and vegetables is coming from the surrounding area and where did the name Visia come from yeah, so you know, finding that name for a restaurant in particular is really hard. It has to be something that you know sort of captures people's attention, but also kind of speaks to the whole philosophy of the place. And um, for us, farming and that connection to good farming uh, was really important to convey in the name. So Visia is is Latin for vetch. Um, oh, vetch okay. is not the most attractive name for a restaurant. Yeah. So we we thought I think okay, you chose well. You know, what, what is the <laughs> translation in another language? Um, but vetch is a, a cover crop that is in the legume family, so it's a uh, like a pea uh, and it fixes nitrogen back into the soil. So it's really crucial um, in good farming practices to be doing these rotations of cover crops, right. which keep the soil healthy, keeps your farm healthy, keeps the ingredients tasting delicious, and also making them nutritious. So it, it really, to us, symbolized just that connection to the soil and to the ground. And so those farmers that are celebrating that and really taking that to heart um, and taking a piece of their land and not growing anything on it they can make money on for a whole you know, six, eight weeks, 12 weeks, um, that's a huge commitment. But it does pay off in the end. And tell me about your cuisine. I mean, everyone who comes here says it's beautiful. They're just like, it's so beautiful. And of course it tastes good right, as well. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, really the, the beauty beautiful. is awesome. I hope people take away the, the flavor too. So it's vegetable forward, which to us is not vegetarian. It's not all meat, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. But really for us, it's an emphasis on making the vegetable the most exciting thing that you order. You know, we do, of course, serve wonderful grilled pork and steaks and things like that. But when people look at our menu, we want them to be excited about our turnip tacos, you know, which are thinly sliced pieces of turnip that you fill with all these wonderful ingredients or grilled carrots that are cooked in beef fat, you know. So there is a meat component that adds that wonderful flavor, but it's really about the carrot. You know, that's kind of the star of the show. And there's so many great ingredients that we're working with in the Midwest, and particularly in the Missouri area, that it's a shame not to celebrate it. I'm a dessert tear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good There's something good thing that to be. you should know about me. I love desserts, so tell me about your desserts. We have an amazing pastry chef. Um, her name's Summer Wright, and she has really sort of risen to that challenge of thinking about, okay, how can we also connect with vegetables and other kind of interesting ingredients into desserts? And so she has found really great relationships with some of these farmers as well, who just bring her beautiful herbs and you know roots and all different kinds of things, and she turns those into some really stunning desserts. Delicious, mm. thoughtful, <laughs> just, yeah. I, I try not to eat a cookie every day, but um, it happens sometimes. It's today. Was one of them. It's good for you. <laughs> exactly. So tell me about the design of the restaurant. Yeah, you know, so so much of how we eat is with our eyes first, uh, you know, and so we wanted people to come into the restaurant and instantly feel like they were someplace different, like there was something special, but also a simplicity that really conveyed that attention to detail and the food, where we source things from, but not kind of hit people over the head with a farm to table kind of corny, uh, you know, <laughs> decor. But it's really just focusing on wood textures, you know, very natural elements, simple colors, and then just letting ingredients uh, on the plate really kind of be that pop of color. Well, it's super comfortable in here. Yeah, yeah. and that too, you know, it's, it's we didn't want it to be a stuffy, formal, fancy restaurant. You know, we wanted to provide all the amenities that come with that, but in an environment that just felt really comfortable.